motherfucker better not be on no nonsense. Call me at this hour trying to see me. Oh, it's about to be a party. This is not hard life, guess this is the last thing. Don't stress. <laughs> and don't say farty. I've been a shit, these are the baddest parts with Don't stress. <laughs> and don't say farty. So let me stop stress. This is not hard thing. Don't stress. Just this. Choke a chain on my neck. Don't stress. Just this. Things got to happen here tonight, boy. You see nothing. Yeah, boy, something coming there. Something heavy coming there. Not to happen. I hear it. You got firearm? Yeah. You got no firearm? You got your license, fitness, and registration, I saw with you? I got a check for him, buddy. You got a check? You supposed to got already when you see police stop you, you supposed to got certain things ready, big bite. Abaton police station. Man. You gotta talk to me proper. What I could do for you, me you know. You gotta talk to me. Talk to me. Well, let, let us go in the car. Supposed to get a couple of lunch, darling. Couple what? This train is you, huh? Take off the chain. Take off the chain. Have give me this now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Your mother could give you another chain, buddy. Is that Apple Watch you got on there? Man, no. No, serious, serious. Buddy, 50 grand. 50 grand, I just say, you may never check your license. But I, I feel strongly that you never got a proper license. Put on your light, put on your light. Hold on. Hold on, go on, go on, go on. Drive, drive. All is up on strobing his point to road by. Drive the car. Yes, the man. My body is a calling. My body is a calling. Your body is a calling mine. Me see your whole and text. Me got your pan locked on every night. Baby, you had me from the first time. I laid my eyes on you. Rebecca, I've been waiting over an hour over for you. Over an hour. I can't hear nothing from you. I can't hear no calls. You don't answer my calls, neither my texts. What's wrong? I just... <sighs> it really hurt my head. I just need you to answer me so that we can talk. is her brows. Everybody talks about it. So can you tell us a little bit about the inspiration for Toya's brows? Okay, well, initially Toya brows was inspired by um, the ghetto, from the ghetto. You know, you pick up things from how persons in the ghetto and, and also persons who don't really know to do the brow, like how yours are perfect. And then eventually as the um, the show go on. The comments from the fans started to inspire. You know, they started to mention that, so I started to pay more attention to that. And then now, currently, it uh, mainly inspired by the events or the topic of the episode. We like when we went to the um, nail salon. I did two cutex on the brows. When we went fishing, I did fishes. And if you notice, when you're going fishing, you gotta get the eyebrows to, to you know, you have fishes there. Oh God, one, two, three fishes. Mm -hmm. And then when we lost the ring, I put the ring there. So it's mainly the topic of the day. That's how Toy bro would appear. <laughs> and of course, Toy's fans are very loyal, I'm sure. Um, what is the wildest thing you can take a fan to A fan? I would. What's turned out for me is when we, they went to edit the live 
her very first live and she was talking about how she drew on her eyebrows and she just mentioned you know I challenge you to do it and post on the page and we had overwhelming response with that and some was crazy fans really really went out and do their thing and you know it was rewarding because the person who won that challenge eventually it became a thing and the producer so sweet and kind with Maria Benchka she decided to present the person who got the most likes and comments with a present and I think I don't think the young lady was expecting that and she was so good. All right um if you could rewind time and do one thing differently what would it be and why? Rewind time Um, the only thing I can think about is um, I will go back. I lost my mother 10 years ago and I don't think that she knew how much I cared, how much I loved her, how much I don't think I did it enough because I used to take time for granted then but after when you lose someone who is so, <sighs> who is part of you, the challenges is like I had to go through a process of forgiving myself for not being there enough because I was doing shows at the time. And you know, I said my mother's gonna live forever, you know, the kind of way. But I would want to go back there to hug her a little longer, tell her how much I love her, spend more time with her, do fun things, and not just looking at her as oh god, the big bad wolves. <laughs> if your life was a reality show, what would be the name of it? <laughs> Um, I think I would want to name it something fun, so I'd probably name Juicy Palace or something like that. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna have to give us some explanation. <laughs> All right. Um, I did a play. I did a play where my name was Juicy, and because I'm a fluffy girl, I'd like to play on that name. And it, you know, we talk about Juicy Couture, but I guess there's a name for something else. But you know, I like to play on that name, and it's Juicy is could be. Be the other side. Yeah, you have fun with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. What does Clemencia Goddard do when she is in Toya? Oh. Um. Well, I am a administrative officer at the Maritime Administration Department. Um. I like to enjoy time with my family. I have a close with my family. I like to spend time with them and my friends and um, well most recently I spent a lot of my time along with the other with the producer coming up with ideas for those people. <laughs> okay um what do you think you spend too much money on? <sighs> it oh. used to be <laughs> it used to be um cost not cosmetics costume jewelry then it um my favorite color happens to be red so anything red catch my eyes and I like to I like to match things so I spend there but most recently because of the pandemic I think I find I like it you know, like smart gadgets like a fancy speaker a speaker can use in the pool and you know things like that uh, we call it these things with a spit in water and cooling, you know, <laughs> fans, lights, lights with speaker, things like that. So I'm working on that for 2022. Wonderful things. <laughs> <laughs> Most embarrassing moment. Hi, the only thing I can think about is I did a play, a skit in Trinidad, and my costume fell apart on stage. But the beautiful thing about that is that once you're on stage and you perform and you enter your character, I'm telling you fall apart. This is not just something falling down, but the good thing is that I like to wear protective clothing under my costume. So I had on a chook top and my tights because I had on a plastic suit and it was struck up to the sides and the plastic side burst. <laughs> right? And listen, I was happy that I was, you know, Guyanese and all. From Trinidad, so they wouldn't see me the next day. <laughs> I think that's the thing I can think about right now. Just to follow up, um, do you think that the Emmanuel incident was 
a close second to this one? Um, to be quite honest, over the years I've tried to blank out the experiences that is not pleasant. And when you asked me that just now, I blank out, I didn't remember that thought. That was really, really embarrassing. <laughs> but thank God that my, um, my producer, my friend, she understood so the, the assignment and she took me away from the environment because <laughs> the Emmanuel we did a skit that we probably didn't think it through too much and they had children in the audience but what happened the audience we adjusted the skit to suit and make it more family like but it did because some of the persons knew what a skit brings and it started to make a set of noise. Oh my God, everybody. I don't think, I think the chairs all start talking and making noise, right? And I got blank. I was happy that she called me on the stage. <laughs> Previously mentioned that you are a co-writer, that you like to spend time writing for those people. What inspires some of your episode ideas? Um, life experiences, personal, for me and um, the other writer Maria she is she has a creative mind and sometimes we can just share stories and I would I live in the I live in an environment that they have colorful people and personalities <laughs> so <laughs> I, <laughs> I um, yes they have colorful personalities, so I am very, very observant because um, they have times that I can be very friendly and talkative, and I like to melt away in the room, especially a strange environment. I go there and I just smile and wave, and I observe and I psychoanalyze the environment and know where I can fit in and blend in like water. So, for life experiences generally, you just have a funny idea, something you're having a conversation and something come up and I mean, you know, we shoot it to each other and then we start to elaborate and start to add to it. And a lot of them, it might be, sometimes you might see your story on those people, you never know. That's how it works. Yes. <laughs> In that light, which episode of those people could you say is your favorite? Oh, I have many, many, but I think my first and even thinking about it now is my favorite is when Nori won the lottery or when she thought she won the lottery and it's how everything played out with Overdose and Beyonce and I think that was the first episode that I wasn't a part of so I get to look at the different characters instead of being entertained by them on the set at the same time so I think that is my favorite favorite. <laughs> All right, with regard to Toya, is it hard getting into that character? Well, at first it was, but what the, um, the main writer, main producer, Mary Benchcup, she what she did is she gave us a description of who Toya is. And one of the things that she does also, even while she's shooting, she said, no, you're not bringing this comments, you the teacher girl thing, but you bring in, I want to see Toya. Because sometimes I'm lost on the set, entertained by Noreen and Beyonce, you know, at the time. And, you know, sometimes it's a different conversation. And I would always ask her for feedback. And she'd say, oh, yeah, you did do it, but you could do this. And she always encouraged you to do better. And do not make you feel bad for not getting it right then. She gave you many chances. And because of the feedback um, I would have received, I tried to better it, I try to look at what the fans say and you know how they see the character as well and then it helps it now. And the costume and makeup help the oil. <laughs> Outside with the dogs dogs, with bees and slugs, where my dogs from like east and south, chat too much dog, just ease your mouth, every thing is nice, no doubt. Outside with the dogs dogs, with bees and slugs, keep it young inside when the team jump out. Hey! What are you doing there, boy? I just walk and go. I just walk and go, nobody. What are you doing there for the night, boy? What are you I doing there? I just walk and go, no. I just come from my room. Where your mask there, boy? Where your mask? I got my, my mask. Put on your mask, boy. Put on your mask. What are you doing? I don't get to have a mask already. Are you walking for this night? What are you going on there, boy? Um, what you got for you? Huh? What you got for you? Are you walking on this night? Mingan on me, 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 on for me. I just come, I just, I just, I just come from, from by me, girl. You come from by your girl? Yeah. This is how we in the morning? Man. This is how we in the morning, you coming from by your girl? Yeah, man. 
What are you looking at? Hmm? Hey, watch me no, when I talk to your back. Watch me when I talk to yeah. you. Put up your arm, put up your arm, put up yeah. your arm. Put up your arm, boy. You got anything for you? No, me got no problem. What you got for you? Give me a chin. 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 Look, 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 look. Take it, 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 no, this one, this one, walk him, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, look, look. Give, all right, all right, all right, look, buddy. Hey, young guy, young guy, young guy, do one. Give, give, look, give look. me your watch, okay. Your bike, yes, sir? Me, what? Go and run, go out, hey. No, 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 bike, yes, sir, buddy. Go and run, yeah. Hey, 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 no, 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 hey. Go and run, yo. hey, what? What? Go run, run, hey. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Because you see, this is exactly why I'm suggesting we get some mag rims. It's going to come with wheels, um, tires and stuff like Laurie, that. But you Laurie. don't like to listen Laurie. to me. Don't rub it in, right? Good. Marcus, look at how lovely the snowman is. They would look wonderful in our front yard. Oh yeah, they, they, they do look lovely. But, uh... Good night. Good night, good night. Mar Marcus, but look there. But at least that has air in it. No, read. Why are you rubbing it in, man? Marcus, I'm just teasing. Why are you so sensitive, Anyways, Marcus? Anyways, let me go. I gotta carry this bike uh, to get fixed. Because I have to use it in the morning. You're so sensitive. Man, there's a busy road, Noreen. Go around the side, man. All right. Even in the night, you'd get the umbrella open and all kind of but thing. But Marcus, you have to protect yourself from the Jew. All right, let's go. I'll walk behind let's you, go. love. Let's see, see what's going on. This is America. Me. Noreen is a superhero. Didn't you not remember? Ta -ta -da -ta -da. Ta -ta -da -ta -da. Have no fear. Noreen is here. I come to the rescue of all my friends. So me. Okay, bad woman. Thank you for that normal answer. I think so too. Do you like your character? Eh. Like. <laughs> There are moments, <laughs> to be honest, okay, so fans, just so you was around with Ori, I was around with Shiko. She and I. No, me like she. Oh, she yeah. and I. I She's the character that I would watch in the show and want to struggle. If I was to rewind time, I'd probably... <laughs> I want to answer this with that. Mommy and Daddy, good night, I love you. You did great with my upbringing. On that, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> on that note, I guess um, I grew up in a very sheltered home. Um, grew up very protected, like everywhere you went, your parents took you. You didn't have, you couldn't stray at all. Um, not that I wanted it any other way, but I mean, like my mindset when I entered theater was so naive. Um, it was so judgmental. Um, I came from. Staunch Christian background. Not that I was necessarily taught to be judgmental, but um, it's it's just something you grew up with. Like you know, when you hear people drinking, like, oh, you're drinking, like so stuff like that. But um, I wouldn't change my theater life for anything, and I wish that the things that I knew now, that I knew back then, I would live my life. Not that I would give up God, not even like Jesus. Was. Just when I said, put on my Jesus shirt tonight. I'm mixing up Jesus. Yes, but they Very are. fitting for what? I think so too. Okay. Do you have a day job? 
What do you think? You could be an entrepreneur or an investor. An unemployed person like, like Kimarli. Was Kimarli. I was speaking. It was Kimarli. He was the one who was doing things. Anyways, yes, I do have a day job. I'm a production manager at a television station and radio station that Jemima works at. So she knows this. Yes. I'm just asking these questions. <laughs> because the director told you to ask this. If your life were a reality show, what would be the name? A what now? If your life was a reality show, mm -hmm. what would be the name? Eh? <laughs> Let's see. Free, single, and disarranged. <laughs> Does that work? <laughs> yes, that works. Would, would you watch a reality show? A reality show with that name? Free, single, and disarranged? I'd be very young. Um, Intrigued. Intrigued. <laughs> like Sammy <something> said. Yeah. <laughs> Intrigued. <laughs> and your abdomen would be in your brain. Tell me something that you spend too much money. I don't think I want to answer that question. My mother is looking. Okay, probably platinum. <laughs> <laughs> I like food is like platinum is like. It's not qualified. <gasps> platinum. Platinum qualified. Man, producer, you said something over there. Okay, the producer said something over there. So platinum. Yes, my house is never out of platinum. <laughs> sometimes 100, sometimes 120. If it's fatter, just say it. What does, what, what am I lying about? I'm prompted that you are telling a little bit. Well, then she should come and answer the question. I never said who was prompting. <laughs> I know who's prompting. She should come and answer the question. I don't know what else I spend a lot of money on. What's the hardest thing about working with this director? I saw that coming a mile away. So, unlike the others, I'm interested in keeping my position in signature production. Um, the director is also the writer of the show, and you know not to mess with the writer of the show because the next episode you might see that your character jump off a cliff, you suddenly get some strange poisoning or something, Marcus poison or read or something like that. My director is the most perfect person in the world. Like Ain't you nothing wrong with you. She don't do nothing wrong. Ain't nothing hard about working with you. Nothing. She perfect. That's my answer. Did I not see you agree when I... Eh, no, 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 no. You see things. You like to see. You should be focused on your, on your interviewing skills. No, no, no. My director is the most perfect director. Marie Benchkoff, good night. Sitting right in the corner there, for those of you who are wondering why this answer is the way it is. Perfect, nothing hard about it. Working with this, she's also my friend. Nothing wrong about it. Nothing hard. No, nothing at all. I mean, four o'clock in the morning, no? Why won't we want to be shooting at four o'clock in the morning? <laughs> right, your mama? Who would want to be in the bed at four o'clock in the morning? Sleep is for the week. Yeah. There you go. Sleep is for the week. I and mean, that's the spirit. Those of you who are watching now, you might just about to experience a four o'clock in the morning. Should come to Time stop. 135. Please, please describe your love life. Ooh. And your words. For real? I just said let's have a little things about you. Why the special of these people? Why are the special of these people? In my personal enjoyment. In how many words? Three. Three. What love life? Yeah, there's three words. What love life? I just had the comment. There you go. And a punctuation question mark. There you go. Answer. Moving on. It's descriptive in my head. Descriptive. You see, this is this this here right here is like all our scripts in in um, those people. We just make up the lines as we go along. So she can't correct me about my lines, right? The record? You can't correct See? Check it up as you go up. Final question from me. Which episode did you not enjoy doing? And why? 
So, first and foremost, I'll top the list and then after the area. So this is the episode where Kimani and Sugar Daddy met. But we, we finished like around 5 o'clock in the morning in the rain. Um, I was behind the cameras. Um, in my director defense, she did give me an out and she told me I could go inside and sleep and stuff. But you know, tub life and I didn't want to pop out like Marcos. Um, I didn't want I didn't want to pop out. I wanted to push through and show up Kimarly because Kimarly tell the director how he's rode through whole night. Whole night he could shoot through and so the director put all of it in this. So that would be the one that I wasn't in. Um, the one that I was in would probably be the last episode where Maria commenced you and thought it was a good idea to put in front of the positions um, to seduce Marcos and the outfits were appealing and then there was this one particular outfit with the glove. The glove would look like if I was a raccoon, <laughs> whatever. Or a skunk, that glove had some kind of furry thing that kept itching my nose, and I'm very upset about it. And I was not paid enough for that episode. Moving on, very hard about it. That was the episode. I don't ever want to do it again. Are you still harboring some part of it? Yes, and Marcus didn't even like it. It was upsetting. Well, I was trying for the sexy Playboy bunny. Ta-da! No, God, please, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Yo, EJ! You know me like them girls, them unruly? Oh, yeah! Yes, man! Me like the girls, them unruly! Yo! I like my girls, them unruly! Yo! I like my girls, them unruly! Yo! Cuss. <coughs> it's a waiter, man. Oh, uh, waiter. Uh, could we have uh, two R1 Smyrna Vice? That's mm, it? Yeah. No and one. a Shandy. That's it? Two mm -hmm. R1 and a Shandy. Okay. Sorry, I'm messing up. No, two R1 and a Shandy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I just said hi to my friend. What happened? What happened, Fika? So can I say hi to my friend? You know, it's nothing. I mean, I mean nothing. It's just to say hi, a simple hi. We spoke uh. about this, okay? I must say though, uh, the Christmas in Guyana is really fun. I've been mm -hmm. having a ball. Ooh, mm -hmm. the, the, is it the pepper pot? The pepper pot. Oh, the pepper pot is the best. My God. Of course. There's a busyness in the streets. Christmas in the end is the best. I, I don't mm -hmm. want to go back to America, actually. I'm having mm -hmm. fun, 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 fun. But, fun. Mean, but um, Sugar Daddy, I want to experience the cold and so over so. And I want to experience snow and so. Mm -hmm. Like, when you will carry me on a trip. Mm -hmm. Soon, baby. Everything in its time, you know. Don't, don't rush the brush. I'm glad you covered. We'll, uh, we'll go on many trips. Mm -hmm. We go from New York. We, we'll travel from state to state. Miami, now, this is why you're talking York. about. Now you're really talking. You're just yes, like, yeah. Yes. Uh, but for uh, now. Okay, stay. See, girl, uh, hey, now you got to try and go and get things in Ireland. So, so you might get, get a trip where we go in. No, no, I never uh, said I was taking Stacy. <laughs> hey, hey uh, my friend. Oh, gosh. Oh, but I can only afford. Thank you. Thanks. So I didn't mean it like though. I said she gonna okay. do things and so get she born yes thing. Oh, she's gonna go out by yeah. her own. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Okay. No. That's okay. Yeah. She'll go on her own. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then we'll go by ourselves and we'll have fun. Mm -hmm. You 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 like it there. You like it there. I know I can't wait. Yeah, that'll be very soon. I'm telling you, that'll be very soon. You know, but for now, I'm enjoying here. The, 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 the weather, the late. No, not the lady. The weather, the place is warm. Like, this is Indiana. Like, I could enjoy it forever and ever. 
Waiter, please have some ice. Yeah, it's, it's not how it sounded, you know. I, I'm gonna maybe try to get Stacy up there afterwards. That's after oh. we settle in. You know, I'm thinking that we can go first and then maybe, you know, we can try to get her up there and so on. Yeah, no problem. Ah. I said she gonna walk up. She probably isn't get she things organized and stuff for she sell from That's there. no problem, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. That, that sounds like a plan to me, mm. if you ask me. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, because I know you guys are friends and, mm -hmm. and, and, and no, no, no. But what? a thirsty. Look, 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 look. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, mm, thanks. Gonna break your teeth, man. Mm. There you go. See, you don't have to use your teeth. Mm-hmm. Um, you could have the straw. I don't need a straw. Mm-hmm. You guys are good? Uh, yeah, yeah. Ficus, you know you're proper. Yeah, you <laughs> but you gotta know who you got. I got you, baby. Mm-hmm. Stacy, yes, Ficus was talking just now. Oh, yeah, I heard him. I heard him, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it was a good idea that you got there, you know? Yeah, right? I got you. We're thinking about taking you up there. That's but, so lovely. But that's after I take my baby. Oh, my that's sugar, all right, that's all right. My sugar plum, plum. <laughs> you okay? Oh, Ficus. <laughs> I like when you laugh like that. It's so infectious. Stacy? Uh-uh. Um, yes. Um, mm -hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to go and keep your friend company over there because I really want to be a black cake, right? No, um, no, no. I don't know with black cake and all of that, but we're going to order soon. Oh, no, it's all right. No, um, but come on. He, he looks um, hungry. Look at him. Stacy, we come anything. together and yeah. we leave in together. Yeah, on, but just know. It's a last and lonely yeah, over and there. Yeah, and hungry Gosh. too. What are you going to eat over there? Yeah, I'm here what, here what. I'm come back in heat, but I just can keep it company, lady. Look Please lonely, come icy. on. But that's how we should be. Uh, don't worry, I'm coming back. Mm. Stacy, but I brought you out. And... Toya, Stacy. Watch my drink, watch my drink. Stacy. I don't get it. I'm mm. coming. Stacy. Hi, cutie pie. What are you doing? Um, no, um, no, um, I was just like... The ice is Making sure that you sit on properly, yeah. like... Mm, yes. Um, thank you. See your friend Toya bring out her. Stacy, we have ice in the Oh, don't drinks. don't bother with them. Don't bother with them. Stacy, when well, our first drink is done, I don't know what you do after that. Please be quiet, Morgan Freeman. Toyo. We're calling me for you under over there. Control. Stay now. over there. Over there in the land of the famine. <laughs> so cool. The way to come. God don't sleep, but he does see. Watch. Look at the dangles. You know what? Me and Vex. I tell Toyo, but the one Stacy. But she airs hard. You gotta try with your friend from under the clock. Stacy from the back road. <laughs> Wait, don't like hair? You're going to feel. If you won a hundred million tomorrow, what's the first thing you would do? A hundred million? Mommy, retire. <laughs> this is the first thing I buy in house. First thing. Okay, um, which actor in Guyana do you rate the highest? This is another set of mm, questions. Damn. See, I got a list. All right, so it's, it's some of them from um, those people. For, of course, um, Michael, um, Kazim, and Mark Luke, even though I don't like that sugar daddy character. I don't like him. And of course, I can't forget Noreen. <laughs> what do you do besides acting? When I'm not acting? Well, I be teeth and goat. This is the most thing, I teeth a lot of goats. But on <laughs> for real though, uh, when I'm not acting, you know, I'm just mostly trying to um, learn more about the craft and you know get more understanding as to how to become a better actor. So that's mainly what I'll be doing when I'm not acting. Oh, I'm blind! <laughs> 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 I that's why I'm unemployed. <laughs> if you could rewind time and change one thing, what would it be and why? Mm. I'd rewind time to start acting early. 
Um, reason being, I feel like uh, I would have been in a, a more like advanced stage if I had, you know, started at an early age. So that's why I would do wine time, for maybe at the age of five, start acting. Hopefully my mom would know. The funniest fail you've had on stage? Hmm. All right, so I was on stage one time performing, and I went down to do a split. And literally, I could say my nuts, like my nuts kissed the <laughs> because the pants split with me and the boxes. And then my nuts was just like, you know, kissing me on the stage. That was like the most embarrassing and the like, biggest feel I've ever had. Let's talk about your character on those people. If there's one thing you could change about the traits of your character, which ones would it be? Mm, again, enough. Um, anger problem. Uh, he womanizes a problem. The fact that he married his wife is another thing. Um, Enough. I'm going to have to stop you right here. <laughs> the fact that he married his wife, could you expound on that part of it? Um, I just think that was a marriage of disaster from the start, you know. It's obvious, it's very obvious for the reasons being that the character is very ignorant and I don't think she could deal with an ignorant man like that. Yeah. Okay, I, I understand. Same thing there. Um, tell me who inspires you? Um, my mom and my humble upbringings. What is the hardest thing about working with this director? <sighs> the fact that you gotta always walk with a dictionary. That's like the main thing. <laughs> she's chose some very big words. But um, I, I think that's uh, she, she's a really good director and she brings out the best in people. Finally, which episode was the most challenging one for you? Too? The first one, I wasn't sure what I was walking into. So the first one was really challenging. I didn't like understand anything. I just went in head first, and yeah, that was really challenging. Oh, love the love the waiter. Mm. Whatever she need. Um, I'm getting another R1 and some fries and chicken. You bring a little pepper and ketchup with it too. You can get me a good dish. Waiter, excuse me. Please bring some more ice and another cup. The waiter, you should get the police while you're at it. The guy has no money. Yeah. Look, just bring we are the first and then deal with it. I'm warning you, waiter. Some Bengay and some icy at least, because he's gonna he's gonna have a hard Don't time. Don't bother with them. So, uh, the guy's broke. Tall, yo. <laughs> Same yes, one as Stacy. <laughs> what happened? Stacy, you're gonna learn the hard way. You're gonna be running from the police in a minute. It's nothing new. It's okay when they're broke. Here now, uh, see you got a girl, right? For you know. Oh, because I finger too. Oh my god, Stacey, your standards are low. My goodness. Taya. So are yours. Don't, don't bother with them. So um, I hope you got a burger with you. I hope your locks stay stitched in. <laughs> so look now, where where is Dufa living? Like, you know, you have to walk and so on? Yeah, I'm a health fitness. A what? Health fitness trainer. Oh, oh <laughs> like oh. <laughs> You got a fitness gym. <laughs> yeah, he needs to fix those knees. Oh, man. so we we just do because I can't really understand. You got a fitness gym. Fitness you got a bottom training. house. They be uh -huh. doing pushups. So like people is exercise with you and them thing. That's, oh well, you know I I always want to work out and them thing though. You know. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I had to borrow the opener. Oh, oh, um, I really want to borrow. No, you could bring one for me, please. Right, Thanks, love. Please, please, bring something for that old man over here. Stacey, Water. you're correct. We can't get our opener anymore because once you go broke, you stay there. Fine, because I tell you, we should Anyway, we and once you go old, you're going to need a wheelchair. We should ah. really, really, Here now, really so um, I somewhere. ain't doing nothing, you know. Uh, me, what, is, you. what is wrong with here? Listen, What's problem? we could go somewhere afterwards, here. right? We could yeah, get out like, of here. Yeah, but like, good, like, yeah. Yeah. What yeah. is it? What's don't, your toy? Don't, don't bother with toy. I gotta say about that. Um, my belly hurting. So what you wanna do? And what then I get him bad feelings. So gosh. Look, just get your diamond mineral water and help you with the bad feelings. Oh, say, see your friendly feeling good. The talk, talk. I like don't tell you where to bring a, a diamond mineral water. You feel good. Just relax. <laughs> say, see, just come and fix this thing for me, now, please. It look good. I'm coming just now. Give me two minutes more. Oh, God, it's saying hot in my head. Not like I get in a headache. If I kiss my shoulder, hot in my hand. You know, I just bring a water instead of fishing, huh? 
I don't think he's able to do yeah. that. You say Hans something? Might catch carpal you say tunnel. something? So anyway, um, you got your end? Okay. You know. We might gotta leave just now because yeah. taxi. Why? We might need a taxi to go because I because I didn't drive. You drive? Cause you drive. Of course, baby. Good. We it's not like home, some no? old man. We don't, we don't I ain't take feeling good. Like certain things happening. Me whole body hurting. Look at Fire. vibrating. It's hurting. I talking to fight because Stacey, I can't talk to fight because still, it's everybody I can't talk to. I can't talk to QT over there. I can't talk to fight because. Look. No. Your friend just buy water keep there for you. Keep your conversation over there in Brooksville. Just get shitty water, please. It's okay, be quiet. You're keep be your conversation right. in Brooksville. Mm -hmm. Same Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, what happened? Oh, oh. Sorry, what happened? Oh, oh, my belly. Sorry, oh. Um, wait, uh, by chance, I'll oh. get a pain tablet. Oh. Oh. Um, oh. I see you at Bengi. Oh, gosh. Oh, this pain. Sorry, Sorry, oh. I ain't okay. What happened? Anyway, what is it, baby? I'm here for I you, baby. I ain't okay. Yeah. But I'm here for you. Mm-hmm. Oh, is yeah. here. Your tummy's hurting. Mm-hmm. Take it easy you. there, Fifty Shades of Brown. Could, could you, you focus know? on what you're doing? I'm this focused. tastes really, really nice, you know? Mm -hmm. okay, you I like sure it. Good? Yeah, it, it feels better. And it feels better like it's got a little lime inside it. All right. Because remember, I got you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you ain't drinking nothing. I got my eyes on something else. An idea? No offense, baby. Woo! Oh. Ouch! Oh, 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 like my foot catching cramp, my foot catching cramp, like. Ooh. Where, where? Um, foot catching cramp. Tyre, just stretch out the legs a little and it's gonna stop cramp up, man. Been around too much old people. It's probably true now. Yeah. It's all right, sugar daddy, it's all right. Thanks, baby. You good? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is it. Real cold. I and think they're gonna be um this is it know? for me for the night. So you know what we you could saying? do this again huh? some other some time. You know, and yeah, we could tell them put it in a box nice and stuff, but um, I like it so on. Yeah. I don't see like this pain like as and done it will come yeah, about yeah. just now. I love it. Mm. I know. Mm. So when again we could come. Yeah, the pain. Hi guys. My name is Michael Ignatius and um, this is an opportunity to get to know Michael Ignatius, all right? What are the similarities between you and the, your character? The similarities between Michael Ignatius and Beyonce. Well, to be honest with you, the only similarities that I could find between Michael Ignatius and Beyonce is that Beyonce, the character, is a very spontaneous, um, jovial, entertaining person, you know, like life of the party. And Michael Ignatius, um, I like to be the life of the party, I like to be spontaneous and jovial and, and, and with people. So that's the only similarities that I could actually find between the character that I play and my collaborations. What's the wildest thing a fan ever done for you? The wildest thing? I mean, that question there is hard to answer in terms of, in terms of the wildest thing, but in terms of generosity and in terms of kindness that uh, a fan has done. They're like they're 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 there are lots of fans out there. People who reach out to me via Facebook and um, you know they spoke about the love for the show for those people and the the love for the characters them. Toya, Nori, and Beyonce. Um, I can remember recently. There's like like before. So like a couple weeks ago, um, they have this lady, um, a fan, Miss Fazia Bacchus, and she lives in Canada. She's a Guyanese but resides in Canada. And she came, she's a big fan of the show, of Toyo and Beyonce. So she came to Guyana for a funeral and they 
the, I, I'm a, I won't say the funeral is probably the 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 family or the reception or something or the wake or something is being kept over the river in the west coast and she had a choice to go over the west coast and visit her family or try to get a chance to reach Doi and Beyonce and she neglected neglected the 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 wake of the family function and decided to come to reach Beyonce and Toya and she even offered to take us out and have dinner and stuff the next day which I think is one of the best things and I don't even consider it a while but that's it okay do you like your character I will be honest um it's Shara Duncan, you remember he in the ring. <laughs> As an entertainer, you know, it's good to be versatile. As an actor, it's good to be versatile and play different roles. Um, playing a gay role is not one of my best roles. That is my favorite role, I should say. I should just say best. It's not one of my favorite roles that I love doing. But, um... You know, when you're acting, sometimes you're called to do different roles. And I was called upon to do the character of Beyonce. And any role that I play, I try to do it to the best of my ability. I try to execute it to the best of my ability as an actor. And um, it's not one of my favorite roles, but I try to execute it to the best of my ability as an actor. If you won $100 million tomorrow, what's the first thing you would do? If I win $100 million, hmm, those people you yeah, are making joke. Um, I would probably take a day or two to soak it in, you know, just to Listen, Toyo, your friend Rich. Your friend Rich, Toyo, your friend Rich! I win the lotto, Toyo! I win the lotto! The truth? <laughs> we win? Oh gosh! Money, 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 money! Hello! Hello. We rich, we rich, we rich, we rich, we rich, 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 rich! Hello! Oh. He hello! Listen, I say I rich, not you. They're saying you still poor, Toyo. So don't go on like this. I win the lotto, not you. To, to realize if it's real or not, you know, or to just to, to soak it in the, the excitement, the wealth, whatever it is. And then um, I would decide how I will, how I will spend that money, you know. But first thing I know that after realizing and I win a hundred million dollars, I would definitely think about some of the stuff that I need in my life. And I'll try to get that. But obviously too, you know, being blessed with a hundred million dollars, there's different things I would do, you know, and my personal needs and also giving back to society. What does Beyonce do besides acting? Beyonce? Um... I think when Beyonce done acting in those people, I think that's it. Um, Michael Ignatius, on the other hand. Um, I'm a family man. Um, I'm a people person. I, I'm also a radio personality. I have a show that I co-host with my friend Jumpy Jones called Unfiltered on 97.5 Mad FM. Um, it's a program that I love doing. That's, that's a next job aside from those people. And um, it's a program that I love. And it's something that we enjoy doing. And I enjoy doing. Michael Ignatius. In terms of Beyonce, when I finish doing those people as Beyonce, he left in the camera or the, the recording or whatever you call it. 
But Michael Ignatius is an entertainer. He's a, a, a radio personality. He is also a family a family man, um, a host. So that's basically it. Michael Ignatius. Funniest fail you've had on stage. The funniest failed. Um. Funny as failed. That's that's a tough question. Um, I mean, I had bad moments where. Well, all right, I can remember this one here. Um, I can remember we did a show in Barbies. Um, nothing to laugh about, and I was playing the character Barry Chagdio or Marat Jagdio and um, I had to jump off the stage and run into the audience and I had to run up back and jump up on the stage and had on this thing like a cape and Maria Benchkap who's a producer of the show her cousin have two children and when I was running back to jump up on the stage the young man um, the cousin son pulled my cape and I went tumbling but I had to get her back and jump on stage. The audience found, the audience found it funny. I hurt my knee but I continued doing the show and I think probably I, I would consider a failure but also funny at the moment because I fell, hurt my knee, keep rolling, I jump her back, get up on the stage and continue doing the show. Which episode is your least favorite and why? Least favorite episode of those people. Um, my least favorite episode, I could say, is the one Beyonce is not in. <laughs> There are a few episodes that Beyonce is not in that is my least my least favorite because I'm not a part of it. But um, I mean, it's it's uh, it's a fun venture. A lot of people love what we do, and um, despite the challenges that we have shooting those people, the characterization, the stigma attached to it. I could say that the mere fact that people love what we do is like I can't find really too much of a negative to say because what we do is for the love of the art and the response we get from people. So the, the only thing I could say is that I'm not in the couple or the few episodes that you see Beyonce not in. That's my least favorite episode. But big up to all the cast members that are doing the thing while I'm not here. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Oh my gosh, Noreen. You know, after eating the one piece chicken, I done hungry already, you know, man. Well, when we go home, we have the leftover cook-up from last oh, 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 night. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. We can I, always heat it up. Yeah, you know, you can you can do some um, pot roast and pot roast chicken and you add it to that, right? Yeah, that, that, that could work. Oh, oh, oh and, and some salad as well. Yes, we could probably watch a movie tonight, Marcos. Yeah, yeah, it depends on how the night go, but uh, I really need to get this bike fixed. Of course, it depends on what time we get home, because this look like it's going yes, to take this, a while. This road, this <laughs> Wait, it's still over the river that two of them walking going? Oh Lord, listen, Marcus, no able. But wait, why the old bad don't call she driver? <laughs> For she be them hummers, hummers, or be buns, or whatever she got. <laughs> no, 
Lori was stress the man out. Hmm. She knows she able. Mm. Oh, oh gosh. Please open the water for me. Oh. Mm. By the way, you have lovely locks, ma'am. Tell me what it look like when it's open, huh? I have to come in the bedroom for that. Oh, oh well, that can be oh, a race. Oh, oh gosh! Oh, my whole body hurts. Let me get a lance. Oh, 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 oh! Tie your wig. My whole body hurts. My whole body hurts. Tie your wig. Look, look. Um, I didn't get your name, young boy. You know, yeah. I was calmer, right? Six one. Six, oh, 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 Gosh, Toya, you, oh, you could gosh. cut up a good runnings, man. Oh, I feeling good. So I need feeling good. The water. All of a sudden, you're you feeling good. Toya, the water. Toya, the water. <laughs> what are you grinning at, glass of man? Yeah, but you know what? They're home by me. No, no, no. She's going up to my house. You'll see. She's going up to my house. Fake Rasta, Bob Marley and the Whalers. At least I got a look. You looking like a Salvation Army peasant? That sure came from Salvation Army. Whatever. Looking like a stale cherry with your red boots? So, first question, if you could choose something besides acting to do, what would it be? I think that would be um, being a tour guide because um, I've always liked the, the exposure of people. I've always believed that, um, you know, when you when you have that exposure, you, you, you get a chance to um, learn a lot more about um, what people like, um, like hobbies and stuff. So uh, yeah, that, that would basically be what I would have that. On the topic of acting, which actor in Guyana do you rate the mm. highest? He, um, Mr. Henry Rodney, because he was the, the bridge that I had to you know, cross. He was that border to help me get up to the other side to be a, a performer, to be an actor and everything. But um, they, they do have a lot of interesting actors as well and actresses. But uh, I really like I really like the way Mr. Mark Luke Edwards performed. He is a sight to see. Tell us a little bit about what is German Grimmel stage on. What is your government? Day job. Oh. Well, I have, um, I would say, one of the most important part in the signature production team. Oh my gosh. I am uh, the producer of the, the producer's slave driver. <laughs> yes. In plain terms, in, in, in plain, yes, in plain terms. Um, the production system, yes. Um, any preparation that you see with those people or any ads or anything related to sponsors and stuff, that's where I give her the, the assistance. Also, I be behind cameras, so all of the scenes where Marcus is not included, Jeremy is behind the camera as well as um, assistant editor. All right, so um, if you could rewind time and change one thing, what would it be? And of course, what? I think it would definitely be uh, my confidence. I really lacked confidence back in the days. Like, I wasn't so social. I would mostly be indoors watching mommy cook or granny cook something, 
but I'm, I'm learned a few things and I'm really good cop now so I'm kid up so you know kid up and I'll play later so for the later yes but um if I was more confident with being around people I would have been more active in sports because um my brothers they would go out and play cricket and these things and I would just watch from my veranda. Well, I want to be involved, but I'm scared to approach and talk to people. Be like, hi, hello, you doing? And that's where my heart would start shaking. Yeah. And on that note, what is the funniest fear you've had on stage? Ooh. Well, I've had um, a lot of uh, accomplishments on stage. A really lot, a lot of accomplishments. Um, I even think myself a young legend, but one of my biggest, one of my biggest fail would be um, be uncensored, uncensored. Twelve, I think it was, or eleven. I, I'm known to be, I'm like a computer. My brain is like a computer, where everything is stored. But on that night, I think somebody removed the computer. Let me tell you something. I'm glad that you bring this shovel. Because tonight, you're getting buried. Let me tell you something you know, right? If you would like to go... Hold on. Hold on. Oi. I want to take a smell at this farm out, right? If this mouth will open a mouthwash, right? I show sure this mouthwash, but when you open this mouthwash, it will be like. No, 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 that you know, being knocked out in the first round, it was a, you know, it was a thing. A little bit about your character. Why do you think Marcus loves Noreen so much? Well, Marcus is a, a confusing individual. <laughs> yes, I think being a uh, person who found love in a young generation, in the in the, in the old days. You know, we Marcus uh, would have this sweetheart that you know he believed that no really is priority. There's no other one for him. But there's a lot of people out there for him, man. So I don't know. But to be placed through so much stress over the years, uh, I'm guessing you probably don't want to get settled and he's actually now that he's far you know. <laughs> Yes, of course, stress. Stress. Are you saying that that stress was brought on? It was brought on by you, yes. Yes, yes. You're, you're very smart, you know. That's you've been Queen's College. Yes, I know. But um, I think that the connection between Marcus and Noreen is a type of love life that I create. Minus the maths, you know? The, the connection, the way he feels for her, the way he acts feelings for her and he really cares about her that that no matter what no matter what she does the 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 love and the, the marriage is important even though she didn't get divorced i was upset with the producer for even considering to to, to forgive her i was i was you know give it a three episodes four episodes let my room free Lamarck was going this stage where he, he, he got so depressed where he got drink to Guinness and think it would have been with me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So that, that's, that's basically it. All right. So um, what is it like, what is the process like, rather, getting into character? Ooh, it's, a, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work for me um, being responsible for cameras and these things because I have to make sure the camera is up and ready, it's charging everything. Um, then into Marcus's 
costume. It doesn't take me long because all of my clothes are big. Yeah. <laughs> all of my clothes are so big. Yeah. I'm so glad that I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a chance to me, you know? Close fitted clothing. But when it comes to Marcus, it takes a lot of home makeup. Um, the powder includes it, the making great. Um, but don't worry, in the next season two, we will evolve. We're gonna evolve. I tell the producer that I'm gonna officially dye my hair gray. So be committed to the character since it's bringing in the cheddar and stuff. The fact that you mentioned dyeing your hair gray, um, this question is kind of private, but the fans would really like to know. How old are you? I don't like to give out my age, you know, <laughs> but um, I'm close to 30. How right. close is it? I'm close. Huh? How close? Okay. I'm close. How close? Four. No, it's that. I'm older than 25. <laughs> 26. But I'm younger than 30, yes. 26 and a half. Huh? No, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm far from 29. But I'm. 26 and a half. Younger than. That. <laughs> yes. Okay, Um, which episode is your favorite? Uh, the episode that I liked the most, which I wasn't uh, in it, would definitely be um, the picnic, the besties day of it. You know, that, that, was, that was so funny for me. The way how um, Beyonce took Nori on the, on the picnic when Stacy and Toy is right there and he was trying to pretend like they were invisible. Like that was that was it for me. And the things he was saying was so hilarious. But um, my best episode I would have to say the one where I was in jail. Yeah, I was locked up with um, Kimari. And uh, you know that was my opportunity to show what I'm capable of doing, show how much I can master that, that character, how much I can bring out Marcus. And if you see these lines, oh my gosh. I was looking at that paper and I immediately felt like I just wanted to quit. But I said, you know what, start. You're gonna finish. So that was, that was it for me. But I wonder, baby, if it's true. <laughs> I wanna rock with you. Just the way you do, my boo. -boo, -boo. When you hold me close to you, love that magic spell we brew, my baby. When you rock with me, and I rock. You. I wanna feel that groove the way you bounce me too. Got my temperature rising high. When you hold me close, I could feel my pores wanna grow on you. Cause it's the music deep inside. Take my hand, don't you ever wonder why I love you so. It's because I I wanna rock with 
of that magic spell we brew, my baby. Cause I love to see all the things you see. Love to feel the way you want to feel with me. And I know that's good for you. That's good for you. Check this baby out. I want to hold you close. Squeeze your tight, baby. Don't ever want to let you go. I want to spend my life with you. Fraser Records. Yeah. 2022. The Goat. Mm-hmm. I'ma say, cops up, take a toast to life. Yeah. Time's hard, but we still survive. Uh-huh. Life is a game, roll the dice. Uh-huh. Fool my ones, can't fool my twice. But I know here, young. Pack it up a green like green, junk. More money, more theater. And my girls, them bad like Rihanna. Three, three. Them one we follow, them I wait for. But we have to stand firm like a soldier. Cops up, take a toast now. Cheers to life, cause we can't be no failure. Gotta be rich this year, yeah. Cut, clear, all crosses. Real boss, take glasses, yo. By the hooks are the crooks. Yo, me, I forget rich. Last year, none for them are the tall. This year, I my name you call. It's not what you make, so much you save. Spend all you want, but some of you save. Cause for the new year, yo. Pack it up a green like green jump More money, more theater And my girls them bad like Rihanna Them one we follow, them I wait for But we have to stand firm like a soldier Cups up, take a toast now Cheers to life cause we can't be no failure Gotta be rich this year Born poor, can't dead so More goals and FIFA Enough gas like Essa Life short, but a toast now. Serious money does make me smile. House and land me up really wild. Money in the bank, I'm stuck on pile. Investments up, me a young and wild. What a new year, yo. Pack it up a green like green, yo. More money, more theater. And my girls them bad like Rihanna. Them one we follow, them I wait for. But we have to stand firm like a soldier. Cups up, take a toast now Cheers to life cause we can't be no failure Gotta be rich this year, yeah Cups up, take a toast to life Time's hard but we still survive Life is a game, roll the dice Fool me once, can't fool me twice Last year, none for them are the tall This year, I my name you call It's not what you make, so much you save Spend all you want, put some in your safe car When I new year, yo Pack it up a green like green jump More money, more theater And my girls them bad like Rihanna Them one we follow, them I wait for But we have to stand firm like a soldier Cups up, take a toast now Cheers to life cause we can't be no failure Gotta be rich this year, yeah Yeah, 2022, the goat. Mm-hmm. 